sentir la musique. Je peux sentir le jazz, ça, ça me fait quelque chose. Et la musique classique, ça vous fait quelque chose Oh, enfin, justement, la, la musique classique, c'est pour la tête un peu. Et le jazz, c'est pour le corps. Hi guys! So I am back. I missed last week. I am so sorry, guys. I actually got COVID. I am recovering now. I feel a lot better than how I felt last week. So I really wanted to film something for you guys. And I just wanted something like easygoing and chill because I am still like really exhausted. Yeah, I just wanted to do something chill and fun. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my new kind of like everyday makeup routine. But of course, I'm gonna be faded AF. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I am a little faded right now, but I want to get even more faded for this video and I actually want to educate you guys on my routine. Like I don't want to go off on some tangent. I want to stay focused. We must remain focused. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go smoke. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm back and I am focused. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna mix two different primers. I'm feeling very good and calm, I'm feeling good about this. I'm taking the Glossier Future Dew and then fitting for this video, the e.l.f. Puff Puff Primer. Beautiful. <laughs> mix them. Put it on my face. Duh. <laughs> oh my god guys i was so sick for the past week it was not okay and like my mental health took such a toll it just was weird i felt very very weird and confused but i'm thankful that i was vaccinated because i know i could have felt a lot lot worse i mean don't get me wrong i still felt like shit and i still kind of feel like shit but it could have been worse so I'm grateful. So I've been using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Originally, I bought Light Peach because I thought it was going to be my color, but it was kind of too pink for me. Now I use Light Sand on my face, but then Light Peach on my under eyes. I have mixed feelings on this concealer, I'm not going to lie. Because <laughs> sometimes I feel like it's too thick, but then sometimes I like look at my makeup and it lasts all day. So... Is it worth it? Then I blend it with a sponge. I like to have two sponges, one for concealer and then one for like blush and bronzer and stuff because I like to use a lot of cream products. See, right now I'm feeling like my skin looks a little dry. Like I feel like the concealer is a little thick. This is why I have mixed feelings. I need like some moisture. So I'm gonna use this Mario Badescu. Spray. It actually feels so good. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more of the concealer because my dark circles are crazy. Honestly, it's because of COVID, but we'll just ignore. Now I'm going to do brows and I like to use this cargo palette. It's very old, but like I just want a taupe color. This is how I've been doing them for the past two weeks and I really like it. And I like this little wet and wild brush. It's like very small and then I blend it with my finger <laughs> then just go over it with some boy brow easy simple i feel like when i do my makeup now it's such a relaxing time to be honest i'm struggling filming this video i don't know why i feel like i have imposter syndrome i'm tired and i just feel really out of it also i'm smacked <laughs> like that probably wasn't a good idea but don't worry i'm fine i'm pushing through doing my makeup just is a calming experience so this this is actually like making me feel nice so let's just continue <laughs> now for bronzer i really really love bronzer i'm using this little natasha denona one and i just do like my cheekbones and then forehead chin jawline you know all over <laughs> i like to like pinch the brush and get under the lip make it look a little more plump <laughs> And then also, just so it's like a little glowy, you know? Now for blush, I like to use a cream. This is Glossier Cloud Paint. I've been using this for like ever. But this is in the color Puff. And honestly, a new thing I've been doing is like just doing my blush really high up so that my face looks like really lifted. And I also just love putting blush on the nose. And here, you know, that like whole sunburnt look. Cute, fun, fresh. 
<laughs> now I like to do like a very glowy powder blush. This is another Natasha Denona palette. I just really like her makeup. <laughs> and this is like very like sun-kissed vibes. Because it's coral with like gold little reflex. I feel like it's really pretty. Oh my god, I forgot. I also like to put the bronzer in my eye um, crease lids. Huh? <laughs> I pretty much use the Natasha Denona Safari matte palette every single time I do my makeup because it has colors in it that kind of match my hair. You can't even really see right now, but it's like a super pretty gray color. I've been doing like a cute smoky gray vibe to match the hair. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm first going to take the light gray stone on this little blending brush. Oh my gosh, a lot came out. It's fine. We will just match them. I kind of like to just make sure everything is going up. That's my new makeup like mantra. Everything go up. <laughs> the blush is going up, the eyeshadow is going up, highlight, everything. Also, I feel like when I do my eye makeup going upwards, it enhances my eye shape and I like that. I'm just gonna keep blending just to like build up the color over here in the outer corner and this side. I like it because it's like a little edgy. I know, oh my god, it's really not that edgy. I'm just adding a little bit of gray. <laughs> but for me, it's a little edgy. Edgy, okay. I think when my hair is dark, it unlocks like the Capricorn rising in me. Now I'm gonna go into the color Rhino, same little brush, and just feather it again on the outer corner. Just like building it up and making sure it's going upwards. Kind of like just blend everything into nothing. <laughs> now with a little brush, I'm gonna put Rhino on the bottom as well. Kind of focusing on the outer corner and just connecting it up we want to look snatched okay yay i am satisfied now i'm gonna take the color aya and put that on my whole lid like just to brighten it up nice and bright and bold i feel like i'm kind of getting better at makeup but i'm scared to say that in case people believe me <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna take the same color and put it under my brow and we will come back to the inner corner in a second <sighs> Do I need to smoke again? Maybe I do. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. And I think I'm also gonna eat a snack. I'm hungry. <laughs> I just realized something. By the time this video goes up, 420 would have passed. Did you guys have a good 420? I'm not doing anything because I still don't feel comfortable seeing people. But anyways, let's finish this makeup, okay? Okay, now my favorite, favorite part, highlight. Again, I'm going in with the Future Dew, just a little. And putting it on my cheekbones. Wow, I feel like I'm way too relaxed in this video. Was this video boring? I tried to make it aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> I'm trying different vibes this year. I am tapping into all parts of my creative brain and no one can stop me. <laughs> Anyways, um... <laughs> putting the highlight on my face this is just like super dewy then i actually like to use an eyeshadow for my powder highlight this is the kaja rosewater beauty bento i think is the name and i just take like the top really sparkly champagne shade and put it on my cheekbones again like going super up we want everything up and it's just so sparkly a lot of people ask me how i get this glow these two products are what I do. Then I put it on the nose, Cupid's bow, and the inner corner. A lot of people always ask me what is in my inner corner. It's this! I never feel like products are like a necessity, but like this product is a necessity to me. I use it every single time I do my makeup. It's just unreal. The glow is unreal. Now for my other favorite part, lips. This is the NYX lip pencil in nude beige and i just overline to be honest i like to create like a pouty shape so like basically more emphasis on the cupid's bow and then taper it so it's like a cute little kissy 
vibe you basically just want a lip liner that's like your lip color like almost exact then you can create this effect then this has been a recent fave it's the elf hydrating core lip shine in happy it's the one with like the little heart oil in the middle <laughs> i really like it because it's really moisturizing and i like this color it's like a juicy nude a lot of people complained about the smell when i read the reviews kind of just smells like candy to me i don't mind it <laughs> but yeah i want to get more colors of these because i really really like them then another recent fave it's the fenty beauty heat gloss bomb in hot cherry at first i didn't like it because it was too like red i wanted one that was more nude but i started using it and i kind of like how juicy it is makes my lips look so plump it feels good it's tingly and the color is cute i'm just used to like a more nude color but yeah it's tingling it feels good and this is pretty much my whole routine maybe just a little more spray Ta-da! i love this makeup i feel like i have like perfected exactly how i want to present myself to the world if that kind of makes sense this has just been my vibe lately love it live for it and yeah i feel really faded right now <laughs> but i love you guys so much i hope that this video was entertaining every saturday schedules will be resuming i just had to take a break because i was sick a f <laughs> and now i'm faded a f a but yeah you guys are great i love you and let me just go really like i'm i just keep talking i keep talking i love you guys bye